Okay, uh, hi, Dr. Durdahl. Welcome back to the uh, Echo Simulation Lab. Uh, I understand from your email you've been having a little bit of trouble with the uh, RV inflow outflow view, which is a transgastric view. So uh, we're going to bring you back onto the simulator online and uh, go over that view again, which I think should uh, consolidate it for you. Does that sound okay? Perfect. Thank you. Okay, and here we are back in the lab. Does that look familiar it from sure your does. last visit? Good. Okay, I'm going to turn over the uh, uh, probe to you, but first let me show you uh, the view in real life that we're actually going to be looking for. Okay. Before I hand off the probe to you, let me show you a, a real echo of a transgastric RV inflow outflow view. In the uh, left sector, you can see the right atria, just below that, the tricuspid valve, beyond that, the infundibulum of the right ventricle. And here's the RVOT, and beyond that, the pulmonic valve. Okay, Dr. Durdahl, I'm gonna uh, let you have control of the probe now. If you'll click on your mouse once, you'll have control of the probe, and let's just slowly insert it uh, using the uh, uh, mouse cursor and the mouse wheel, and as we insert it, uh, we'll just go through the uh, views as a uh, 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 summary. Uh, here's the great vessels of the uh, neck, the uh, innominate uh, arteries on the uh, left sector. Here's the uh, upper esophageal uh, view with the aortic arch and long axis. Now here's the ascending aorta and short axis. And here comes the five chamber view. And here we are in the four chamber view. As we push in more slowly, we'll see the coronary sinus and long axis emptying into the right atria. And as we push in a bit further, we'll go through the base of the left ventricle with the mitral valve. And as we go in a bit further, uh, we'll come up on the papillary muscles and let's just stop there. Okay, so now we're looking at a transgastric mid-papillary short axis view. Now the view that we want is actually somewhere between this view and a deep transgastric view. So let's go ahead and if you'll carefully push in the probe uh, just a bit further until the papillary muscles almost uh, disappear. Maybe about right there. I think that's nice. Good. Now, if you'll show yourself uh, just a little bit more of the RV uh, with the turning of the probe, if you'll turn the probe to the right. And uh, you just want to keep the RV on the left sector of the screen. And probably something about like that should be pretty good. Nice. Okay, now we have to antiflex our way back to the tricuspid valve. We're, uh, the insonation plane is down near the apex. We've got to look back up at the RV inflow. Uh, and uh, to do that, we'll use uh, fairly hard antiflexion. So go ahead and start antiflexing the probe. Very nice. Here comes some more antiflexion. And uh, I'm going to get you to actually over anaflex it a little bit so that we see the tricuspid valve and long axis, just to demonstrate where we are. And nice. Why don't we stop there? Good. Now, here's the tricuspid valve and long axis on the left side of the sector. Now, let's back off so that we're in the tricuspid annulus. And as we back up, we're actually going to be right there. Uh, in the anterior tricuspid annulus. That might be a bit too much, so let's add in a little bit more anaflexion, and that should be good. Right about there, I think, should be nice. Good. Now, uh, we're in an insonation plane where we see the uh, aortic valve in center screen and the ascending aorta and arch. So that means the insonation plane uh, is not where we want it, which is in the uh, pulmonary uh, RVOT outflow tract. It's actually posterior uh, to uh, where we'd like to end up with the insonation plane. Uh, so uh, if we could give, if we could um, use a negative uh, omniplane, we could use that. But unfortunately, most machines won't do negative omniplane. So as an alternative, we can use a right flexion using the lateral right flexion with the small wheel. So go ahead and start dialing in some right flexion. It'll take pretty strong right flexion. And as you do that, you'll start to see the RVOT and the pulmonic valve in the right side of the sector.
Good, there's the pulmonic valve. And uh, go ahead and dial in all the right lateral flexion that you can dial in, good. Is that the full extent of it? Yes. Okay, let me take the mouse for a second. Okay. And I wanna to point to uh, this ridge of tissue here. This ridge of tissue is actually a conus that's dividing the uh, aortic valve from the pulmonic valve, which means that the insonation plane is uh, a bit too central in the heart. Uh, the insonation plane needs to be a little bit more anterior because that's where the RVOT is, very anterior. So I'm going to let you uh, take the uh, uh, mouse back if you'll just click on it once. And if you reduce your uh, anaflexion with your big wheel, just reduce it a bit, you'll see that that RVOT opens up uh, very nicely. Just go ahead and uh, reduce it a little bit. There. Maybe just a hair more, that's it. Okay, very nice, now you have the view. Okay, I hope that really helped you and uh, clarifies how to get that view. It did, thank you very much. You're very welcome, good to see you again. I know, you too. Okay, bye for now.